Yesterday, Joe Biden stood before the world and proclaimed that the Taliban's takeover of Afghanistan came as a total surprise. The assumption was that more than 300,000 Afghan national security forces that we had trained over the past two decades and equipped would be a strong adversary in their civil wars with the Taliban. That assumption that the Afghan government would be able to hold on for a period of time beyond military drawdown turned out not to be accurate. Yeah, well, that was an, an obvious lie. He also said the same thing pretty much to Stephanopoulos on ABC. So according to Reuters now, and here, you, you don't want to miss this, and it's, it's true, it's not the Babylon Bee, Biden knew that the collapse was inevitable. He just didn't want anyone else to know about it. In late July, during a phone call with President Ashraf Ghani, Biden told him uh, to pretend like the Taliban wasn't ready to retake the country, saying, quote, I need not tell you the perception around the world and in parts of Afghanistan, I believe, is that things aren't going well in terms of the fight against the Taliban. And there's a need, whether it's true or not, there's a need to project a different picture. Joining me now to react is retired Army Infantry Captain and U.S. Senate Republican candidate Sean Parnell. Sean, uh, I think that this is, this is not like guesswork or rhetoric or hyperbole. There, there was, that is a confession, a recognition that the country was in trouble and asking the president of Afghanistan effectively to lie about what was going on, which means also you will not be prepared because you can't prepare because you're telling people something that's not true. Uh, what are your thoughts on this? Yeah. Well, it's, it's absolutely unbelievable, but nobody should be surprised. Joe Biden has been a politician in Washington for 50 years, and lying is what he does. He said he graduated at the top of his law school. That was a lie. Said he had three degrees. That was a lie. Said that he opposed the Iraq war. That was a lie. Said he was the first uh, in his family to go, to go to college in a thousand generations. That was a lie. Said he was a coal miner from Pennsylvania. That was a lie, too. That's what this man does. I mean, for goodness sake, he said he was in a knife fight with a guy named Corn Pop. So, <laughs> oh, you know, man, when just, we think it's, back it's on this, Sean, it, it's unbelievable. But it, and it tells you one thing lying about yourself, it, it gives people a hint about your character and your nature. But now the lies have gotten 13 of our service members murdered. Now the that's, lies, that's untold right. numbers of, of people in Afghanistan will be slaughtered. This is going to be a bloodbath. That is, I think, what the American people, for some reason, have not made the connection yet about who this man is. That's right. And, and he did this exact same thing in Ukraine. Fire the prosecutor who's investigating my family's corrupt business dealings in your country, or you don't get the billion dollars, right? <sighs> Lie about the conditions on the battlefield, and, and otherwise you won't get the military assistance. They don't call him quid pro Joe for nothing. And the most horrible thing about all of this, Tammy, is that he, the fact that he had the lie means that he knew six weeks ago that things were going to go bad. That's correct. Yet he didn't, he didn't adjust his strategy. He didn't warn Americans in that country to leave. He didn't tell our we military who Bagram. might be stranded in the embassy. We got, he, rid, he of the, we got yeah. rid of Bagram. We, we, that all the terrorist prisoners being released. It, it's almost as though it was by design. And we've got to consider the nature of what's happened here. And I know it's shocking. I think most of Americans are still in shock. But as we get these details, that's what tonight's about, Sean. Tonight is about... The, the, the overflow, the lava coming out of the volcano. We must be prepared. You know, we've got to be able to look at what's coming up on our hills. Thank you so much for joining me. Great stuff, and uh, uh, great to see you again, Sean. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.